Hi guys, George here from the Royal Army's education team, bringing you another edition of the Home Learning Hub. And this time around, we'll be exploring the PALS battalions of the First World War, and in particular, the Leeds PALS. When war broke out in August 1914, unlike many nations, Britain did not have a large standing army. In fact, its army was only made up of around 120,000 men. The British government soon realised this would not be enough to fight in the global conflict. There was a need for a large volunteer army. The person leading these calls for this army was Lord Kitchener, the Secretary of State for War. You might recognise him from posters like this. Incredible moustache. He pointed his finger and he said to the men of Britain, Your country needs you! Straight away in a wave of patriotic fever, tens of thousands of men signed up to volunteer, and very quickly Lord Kitchener reached his goal of 100,000 men. And all was well. But was it? No, because thousands more men would be needed to fight in this war. And the government realised, if you got men to fight alongside people they worked with, their friends or their relatives, they were more likely to sign up. Imagine it's 1914. Loads of people you know have just signed up to join the army. Your friends are going to fight. Would you join them? Well, this is how the PALS battalions came into being. PALS battalions quickly sprung up across the country. They featured in cities like Liverpool and Manchester. In towns like Grimsby, there was even PALS battalions made up of footballers. And here are the Leeds PALS. Two days after its formation on the 3rd of September 1914, 800 men from all over Leeds had volunteered to join, including Jagendra Sen, who was born in India but had moved to Leeds to study at university. Sadly, he had gone to become the first Bengali soldier to die fighting for the British Army during the First World War. Alongside Jagendra Sen, Horace Isles, who lied about his age to enlist, also joined up. He was only 14 years old when he enlisted. In total, 1,200 men volunteered to join the Leeds Pals. They were not trained soldiers, they were normal people who worked normal jobs. The Leeds Pals, like other Pals battalions, underwent six months of training to turn them from civilians into soldiers. They went through weapon training and learned how to use guns like this, the short magazine Lee Enfield rifle. Machine guns like the Vickers machine gun, grenades, and bayonets. Alongside weapon training, they underwent physical training to improve their fitness. And alongside this, they also went through training to give them what was called a soldierly spirit. In December 1915, the Leeds Pals were sent to Egypt to protect the Suez Canal. However, by March 1916, the threat in Egypt had lessened. And alongside many other PALS battalions, the Leeds PALS were sent to the Western Front, just as the preparations for the Battle of the Somme were taking place. The Battle of the Somme began on the 1st of July 1916 and did not end until the 18th of November 1916. Prior to the British launching their attack on the first day of the battle, they spent seven days bombarding the German territory. They hoped to destroy the German trenches, defences and barbed wire in no man's land. The aim of this was to make sure that when the British soldiers went over the top, they'd be able to walk across no man's land without facing any German resistance. However, this did not prove to be the case. At 7.30am, when the whistles were blown, the British infantry, including the Leeds Pals, left their trenches and went over the top. This is where the horror begins. The British bombardment of the German territory had failed to destroy their trenches, their defences and the barbed wire in no man's land. This meant the British troops were met with heavy machine gun fire. In total, on the first day of the Battle of the Somme, 209 of the Leeds Pals lost their life including Private Horace Isles, who was only 16 when he died. One member of the Leeds Pals went on to say, We were two years in the making and ten minutes in the destroying. On the first day of the battle, just under 20,000 British soldiers lost their life. Throughout the entire campaign, from July until November, this figure reached 120,000. At the end of the war, only 150 of the Leeds Pals returned to Leeds.
Can you imagine the devastating effect this would have on the local community? Each town and city that was involved in the First World War would have experienced similar trauma. Now you've learned a bit about the Powers Battalions, why don't you do some independent research into how the First World War affected your local area? And once you've done this, I want you to write a letter to your family from the perspective of a soldier who's serving on the front line the day before the Battle of the Somme. How do you feel about going over the top? What can you see? What can you smell? What food have you eaten? Have you lost any close friends? And once you've done this, send it into the Royal Army social media accounts so you can have a read. Thanks for watching, keep learning, and see you next time. Goodbye.